a couple of miscues on defense. Yeah. How tough it is for you guys to, you know, have a game like this in front of the home fans and everybody's pumped up and you just, yeah, you fall just short. It's tough, but you gotta have, you know, short term memory. You gotta forget about this game because, you know, we got Blue Girl coming, we go to Blue Girl, we play on Saturday. And then, you know, the good thing about this is that we play Georgetown again. So we have a chance to redeem ourselves and beat them in their place. So that's always a big thing. But you always want to protect the home court, and we failed to do that three times you know, in a row. Uh, it doesn't happen much here in Syracuse, you know, so we, we definitely got to protect, do a better job of protecting them. You just mentioned about um, when Rick came back, you guys were down, and CJ was really doing a great job. Talk about we were up. Stuff. We were up. Right. Yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. CJ played well. You know, this reminded me kind of like how he played against Pittsburgh, kind of. You know, he came in, and he was finding spots in the middle and, you know, just finishing up above the basket, and that's what we needed to do. Uh, if he could stay consistent in doing that, you know, if he's going to make us a lot better, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good for him. It's a positive for him as the rest of the season goes on. How do you guys know we focus stuff for the come We're already focused. You know, the game was over. This game was over. We can't think about it no more. There's nothing we can do to bring back, you know, and get a W. So, you know, we're already looking forward to playing on Saturday. You guys have played really good defense for about 36 minutes there tonight. It seemed almost uh, bizarre to see all of a sudden, uh, you know, Georgetown get that backdoor down. cut. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we played good defense, and then, uh, like I said, we just kind of broke down. Um, you know, they, they missed direct plays, and they got a back door. We just got to be more aware. We, our defensive awareness wasn't as good in the last two, three minutes of the game as it was for the first 36. How's the way they moved the ball compared to some of the other Big East teams? Well, they literally have four shooters on the perimeter most of the time. And then when they have a, you know, usually we're used to seeing guys like, uh, UConn, they, they send their bigs to the high post. You know, this team was sending Chris Wright to the high post and Austin Freeman, who can make plays definitely from there. And it's just a different look, and it's a little more difficult to guard, but nothing that we haven't seen before. You, guys have a straight yeah, you it's mentioned that you guys just had a bad offensive night. What is it, seeing how good you played the Tampa, how frustrating is it when you know what this team is capable of offensively? Yeah, it's tough. You know, especially when we come back, we, uh, you know, play UConn tough. We play... Uh, so I feel tough. Appreciate that, bro. And uh, we just, a couple of shots that we usually make, a couple of layups that we usually make, we missed. Uh, that's not like us. Bro.